Louis Belson and uh, Gentlemen of Explosion, thank you very much indeed. Um, Louis, it's always struck me that uh, the one member of a band who seems to be enjoying himself more than anybody else is the percussionist, is the drummer. Would you agree? I agree, yes. I have my little toys here. And of course, the guys are, are, they have a mouthpiece up to their face and they're reading notes, and I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> well, I think that's very modest because we're, we're, we're talking about musicianship as well. But you do, you have a freer area in which to operate, are you saying? Yes. You can yes. fling yourself around more. Absolutely. Well, the big band sound is clearly, you know, alive and well in the 80s. It's got a lot surrounding it, a lot preceding it, punk rock, all this stuff. Why is it doing so well? Well, first of all, Count Basie, Woody Herman, Harry James, Buddy Rich, these bands are doing very well, and they have a, a wide range of an audience, young, middle-aged, and older people. And the reason we have quite a few youngsters is because the high schools and the colleges are teaching jazz, and the youngsters are becoming educated to this great music. They know who Dizzy Gillespie is, they know who Basie is, and so with this kind of education, uh, our, big, our big bands really draw a wide audience. Well, there has been a kind of academic following for jazz uh, very much in this country, but it seems to be, you're saying it's more popular now than it has been for some time. Yes, I would say, yes. And that's, that's, reach, that's because of why, you see, because not everyone um, is educated in the way in which you suggest, but why are the crowds coming? Well, it, especially over here, where you have Basie's band, our band, mm. Buddy Rich's band continually comes over, and they get more of an audience each time because the people really see and hear the validity of the great jazz music and the big bands. Now tell me, tell me about the percussionist, the drummer as leader of the band. Now, how did that happen? Well, I think it started with, uh, with Gene Krupa many years ago and more recently the great Buddy Rich, uh, who is still has a big band and doing very well. And I guess I'm uh, third in line, so uh, we've been very successful to have good bands. I've got marvelous personnel in this band and we just enjoy it. Some people might dispute third in line, I think. Thank you very much. What are we going to hear now? We're going to hear a composition written by the great Duke Ellington and Billy Strayhorn. The title is The Intimacy of the Blues. Louis and gentlemen, thank you very much. Louis Belson, whom you can see next week at Ronnie Scott's Club.